what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here so we're gonna be talking about screen five and the whole marine prescott situation in relation to us potentially having a scene that would show us the events of what transpired before the events of scream as we know marine prescott was the centerpiece of the original trilogy in a way the the dead centerpiece as her life and the things that happened to her in her early adulthood was kind of what led us to what happened in the original trilogy and all these people that were upset with her held grudges against her and all of the bad decisions that she made as a result of some of her own trauma that she was dealing with too that led to her daughter being put into the center of it and getting some unwanted attention from killers publicity etc so i'll just start off with the idea of us having a scene like that i think that would be a very unique scene to have i think that would be a scene that would be very eye-opening to kind of have more context into how the events transpired that night between her going home with cotton weary them having sex him leaving billy and Stu going in unfortunately raping her and then killing her and then sydney of course coming in walking home seeing who she believed to be cotton leaving her house and then finding her mother of course presumably dead is what i have always envisioned in my mind from the way that it's been talked about in the series that's how i envisioned this the sequence of events had occurred but to actually see it unfold on screen with different actors at this point while that would be something definitely i can see a lot of fans being satisfied with at this stage in the game knowing what we believe to be true about screen five and the direction they seem to be going this is something that would have been more fitting in screen three and the reason for that, of course, is like I started off with the beginning of this video, Maureen Prescott was like the other centerpiece of this trilogy, along with her daughter. This whole trilogy was revolved around Maureen Prescott and the grudges people held against Maureen Prescott and those grudges and that anger being taken out on Sydney. So with Screen 3 being the original intended final chapter for what was at one point a planned trilogy, they could have done that in the opening of Scream 3. And I'm not saying that we couldn't have got like a similar opening kill like with Cotton Weary or something. But even still, it didn't even have to open the film. You could have had a scene like that just play out during maybe a voiceover from someone where we're seeing the events unfold between the actors. You probably could have brought back Skeet Ulrich. Probably could have brought back Matthew Lillard to reprise their roles and have that flashback just play over on screen while someone's just giving like a voiceover of the events that transpired on the night that she was killed. Uh, Lee Schreiber, of course, could have been portraying Cotton, Sydney playing Sydney. I mean, I meant to say Nev Campbell playing Sydney. So that would have been better suited for the final chapter, the intended final chapter, Scream 3, because of the events that we know transpired where we found out she had a life in Hollywood she did a couple of movies she unfortunately was mistreated in hollywood which resulted in the birth of roman bridger sydney's half brother and then roman of course was the indirect mastermind for the events that transpired in scream and scream 2 and of course the direct mastermind for what happened in scream 3. so to have it happen in scream 5 it just seems kind of not fitting anymore only because of the fact that we seem to be going in that direction of Sydney being in more of a I'm here to help position. I've been here. I've done this. I've lived through it. And we're going to be introduced to a, a new set of uh, or a new family, I'll just say, because we have the Marine Press. We have the Prescott and Roberts dynamic already well established with Scream through Scream 4. And now we're going to be introduced to the Carpenters and their dynamic as it relates to them being sisters sarah and Tam sarah and tara carpenter or i meant to say sam and tara carpenter and what what happened to sam why did she leave woodsboro obviously that's more than likely going to tie into why the killer is doing what they're doing or just going to tie into us being more connected to sam as a character the reasoning for why she left woodsboro and then just learning more about Sam's mother, learning about what's going on in Tara's life as a carpenter since she's the younger sister who has been living with their mother ever since Sam left town at a very young age. So it seems that they're going to be focusing on the carpenters. So it, it doesn't really make sense 
for why I feel like the issue would be if you were to start the movie off or have any type of scene like that randomly in screen five and the movie is trying to shift focus away from Sydney, you will have a lot of uh, people, I would say, who are just trying to rationally, I guess, observe the movie. I'll just say, why are you having a scene like that in this stage in the game? Like, you know what I'm saying? Why not do that? in Scream 3 when that was originally intended to be the final chapter and we were finding out so many things about Maureen that we didn't already know. We were finding out so many things about her. They literally recreated her crime scene on the set of Stab 3 Return to Woodsboro when we see Sydney going through the set of the film. So it's like that scene, a scene like that with an opening or wherever it could have been in the film showing her dying, that would have been better suited for Scream 3 because now while I'm sure a lot of you out there would like to see it still at some point in this franchise, I personally would not like to see it right now only because of how the direction it seems to be going in is Sydney's story being closed in a way. She'll still be a part of this franchise. She'll forever be the heart of this franchise. But what they're doing is her trauma is now going to be used because we've already seen her move past this. She's been able to move past it and become a successful author. She hopefully has done a lot of other ventures in the last 10 years that we can be proud to see, hopefully introduced in Screen 5. I'm sure she has accomplished a lot of other things over the course of these years that have passed. So seeing that, seeing how she came out on the other side, I, I just feel like the direction they're going and how they're trying to shift the attention from Sydney to the Carpenters, it doesn't seem right to then showcase a scene with her mother being killed in the fifth entry. If the film is, of course, actually still about Sydney somehow, like a lot of people are speculating and they believe to be true, then sure, I guess. But at the same time, that's something that should have been done in Scream 3. That's just my opinion on it. I would love to see that scene, just not at this current stage of where it seems they're taking Scream 5 and what they're trying to do with the franchise going on with shifting the series away from her and just kind of having her here as a legacy piece for the future entries that come along because i'm pretty sure the carpenters will be the heart and soul going forward after this but let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notification and miss a video in the description i have links to my social media accounts my facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course if there's any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video